How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a beautiful day. I've got my 2005 Volvo S60R and let's go autocrossing. Shifting Lanes would like to thank this month's sponsor, Avalon King Armor Shield 9. Check the link in the description below to go to their website and see their ceramic coating next level product, Armor Shield 9. Use code SHIFT25 to receive $25 off your purchase of Armor Shield 9. We have this on our cars and it is an amazing product. Get yours today. Check the link in the description below or go to avalonking.com and use code SHIFT25. thoughts uh, this car is currently fifth place out of five in street touring ultra so uh, I'm about five seconds four to five seconds slower consistently compared to all the other cars in STU and uh, that's for good reason because this thing is a lot heavier than those other cars really not a good excuse well it's a decent excuse but let's just say that uh, this one doesn't really have all the proper STU hardware just yet so um, let's talk more about the course real quick this course is super fast uh, the fastest time I've seen is about 37 seconds and uh, that's done by very fast very lightweight S2000s with big wings on them uh, but Currently, I'm running around 48 seconds. Now, I've done my fourth run, so I got one more run to go, and I haven't hit any cones yet, so hopefully I could break that 48 second barrier. Uh, that would be huge, because uh, currently I'm only fighting against myself. So let's see how this last run goes. So a couple of post-race thoughts. Um, before I get into any of that, you may notice that I'm sitting in a totally different car. This is not the 2005 Volvo S60R, which I autocrossed in. This is the 2019 uh, Nissan Maxima Platinum Reserve. Uh, yeah, this thing's been processed and aged for the past seven years and sitting in a basement somewhere. Uh, no, this is the top of the line Nissan Maxima. This is their largest sedan in their lineup. And I'm currently in the process of reviewing this car, so if you're interested in seeing our review of new cars, please check out the Drives and Reviews playlist, which is linked down below. But anyway, let's get back to the point of this video. Um, some post-race thoughts. I have a couple of them. The first one is that I have to become a better driver. I mean, uh, if you looked at the results, I 
performed four to five seconds slower than the rest of the STU competition. That's Street Touring Ultra. That's basically the bolt-on class for autocross. Um, forgot some of the basic tips and tricks of autocrossing, which is to look ahead. I mean, that's the most cliche thing that anyone could share with you when it comes to autocrossing or racing is to constantly look ahead, but it's also the simplest advice that most people forget, and I forgot it. Uh, but yeah, if I were to look ahead, not just to the next cone, but really to the second, third, and fourth cone, uh, I could position myself much better and I could really cut down on my times. That's what I remembered, what I told myself in my third, fourth, and fifth runs was that keep looking ahead, keep looking ahead, keep looking ahead. I just kind of repeated that to myself. And you know what? Lo and behold, I actually looked ahead and I looked at not just at the you know cone coming up, but I was looking out the side windows, looking at the turns like where the exit or where the apex and where the exit cones are. So yeah, I have to become a better driver. I have to remember myself these tips and tricks, you know, like backsiding the cones, looking ahead, cutting distance. So, you know, I'll make another video where I talk about all those different tips that I've heard from all the different autocross legends that attend um, the autocross sessions up in the Meadowlands. So that's point number one. Point number two is that I really have to install the rest of my uh, street Touring Ultra hardware, such as the coilovers and sway bars and strut tower bars. And so I have all that hardware just sitting around. It just needs to be installed and I can't wait to put that video together for you guys. Uh, once I have all of that installed, I'm pretty sure I could cut down maybe another second or two off of my time. Uh, if I have better driving skills, I'm sure that will cut my time by about two to three seconds. So I believe that with proper skills, proper hardware, I could kind of get within striking distance of the rest of the competition. Again, currently with that specific course, which is a fairly fast course and rewards higher horsepower cars, um, I was about four and a half to five seconds slower. So. Yeah, the last point is that the competition is super challenging. Aside from the Volvo, I have the Cayman S, Mitsubishi Evo, WRX STI, and the Corvette that I have to go up against. So the competition is tough. So yeah, this is an underdog story. We can only go up from here. So, um, but yeah, you know what? Uh, it's gonna be an exciting journey. So I hope you guys stick around for that process. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the video right there and just to kind of give you, you know, I wanted to give you my thoughts on how I did in my last autocross. There's a couple of, there's many more autocross events coming up in the future. So if you're interested in autocrossing with me up in the Meadowlands or in the Pennsylvania area, please let me know. Drop us a line at contact at shiftinglanes.com. I would love to race with you guys and just chat. I wanna thank you so much for sticking around all the way till the end. Um, if you like this video, please consider giving us a like, hitting that subscribe button, and also hitting that notification bell so you can get notified anytime we make a new video. Uh, I'm gonna continue driving and finishing my review video of the 2019 Nissan Maxima Platinum Reserve. Uh, that's right. So yeah, if you're interested in watching any of our other review videos, please check out the playlists down below and check out the rest of our channel. So anyway, I'm going to end the video right there. My name is Hanson. This one is the 2019 Nissan Maxima, and I'll catch you next time.